In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, we help a food image sharing service get performance back on track with custom images. Like your meals in 30 minutes or less? Then stay tuned. Last episode, we got a chance to work with the Foodie Picks team, who make a social network that only allows you to share pictures of food. Uh, no text, no audio, no emoji, just a picture of food and the geolog tag of where it was taken at. Their application uses compute engine instances to process and store the uploaded images. The issue that they've seen is that their instance boot time is through the roof and causing latency issues when heavy load is on their system. Now, we've already profiled the startup time stages, as well as a bunch of random configurations, and we're able to clearly eliminate the instance boot process, chosen image, and underlying serving architecture as potential bottlenecks for performance, which means it was time to start digging into the code running on the instance to find the problem. To do this, we take a look at the startup script that FoodiePix was using. Once a new instance was created, their very first step of their app was to execute a startup script, which installed various services and code libraries that would allow the instance to function and be accessible externally. Their uh, script was significantly more complex, but it generally looks something like this. Clearly though, we needed to figure out what stage of this script was causing the performance burden. Now, uh, profiling a startup script is a weird exercise. Uh, a, how do we get the timing data? And B, how do we return that so that we can test it later? For the first problem, I'm working in Linux and dealing with bash scripts, so the seconds command works just fine, wrapping it around each one of the sections in the script. For the second problem of reporting the data, there's lots of options here. Chances are that you've got code that already takes advantage of powerful tool systems like StatsD or Brubeck, but for my purposes, that would require pulling down yet another package, not to mention the time required in starting those services before I'd be able to use them, so I'll skip that for now. On the other hand, the Stackdriver custom metric API might work. Uh, see, all GCE instances come pre-installed with access to write to this API, so that would get rid of the need to bring down new packages or host complex backends. Sadly though, writing to the API requires some complexity, namely authentication, which I'm not willing to put forth effort into right now, so we'll skip that. For this case, I did something much more hacktastic store the timings in a file and serve them as a new endpoint. This allowed me to pull the endpoint from an external location and get back my data without too much heavy lifting. Uh, here is a graph showing the timings for each section as 100 iterations of timing the startup script. It's clear to see in the graph that the time per stage of the startup script doesn't fluctuate too much between tests. It's uh, somewhere between 60 and 75 seconds. No one stage clearly stands out as a performance problem. Really, it's the aggregation of all the stages that's creating an issue. Doing some more digging with the FoodiePix CTO, it became clear that they only updated those scripts about once or twice a month at this point, so the content they were pulling down was mostly static, which pointed almost immediately to their problem. See, each time a new instance is spun up, they're pulling down almost identical content that changes on maybe a monthly basis. They're basically wasting a minute of cold boot time to do the same thing over and over and over again which means we can leverage custom images. A custom image, or uh, image snapshot, is basically a snapshot of the host disk information after everything has already been installed. When a target VM is booted, the image information is copied right to the hard drive. Uh, no need to go grab all that data one at a time and install thousands of files from the net. As soon as you boot up the new instance, you're just paying for the performance cost of installing the image itself. For FoodiePix, this was a huge performance improvement. They were able to make a custom image with most of the big packages installed, but still allowed a small startup script that pulled down the server front end code. The result was moving from a boot time in minutes down to one measured in sub seconds. And uh, just a note, even though we're using a custom image, the boot phase of installing their image really didn't fluctuate much, which is fantastic considering that we're not only installing our core operating system, but also a bunch of other software which was previously pulled down via network commands. The Foodie Picks team ran into a very common problem for most developers. Once you reach a certain level of complexity in your startup scripts, the cold boot time of your application starts to suffer, at which point it's a great idea to consider using custom images to bring down your boot time to something normal. So if you're interested in more cloud performance goodness, make sure to check out the rest of our videos. And remember, when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.